Welcome to today's lesson on angles. Today I'm going to teach you what the difference is between an acute, a right, and an obtuse angle. Let's go ahead and get started. To understand angles, it's important that we first understand circles. Now one full circle is 360 degrees. And as you can see with the protractor on the screen, it measures out each degree until we get a full circle, which is 360 degrees. Now we're going to use this protractor today to measure different angles. And let's go ahead and let's start with an acute angle. So an acute angle is an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. And as you can see, we have an angle with a line segment starting at zero degrees, meeting at the vertex, and going all the way to 50 degrees. And since this measurement is only 50 degrees and is less than 90 degrees, it means that we have an acute angle. But what would happen if we took this line and we moved it all the way down to 90 degrees and increased the size of the angle? Well, we would no longer have an acute angle. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. Now, when you see a right angle, you will also see that it is usually written with a square in the corner. Now, if the angle has a square in the corner, that's telling you that it's exactly 90 degrees. And as you can see, the angle looks larger than the acute angle. Now, when you're comparing whether an angle is acute, right, or obtuse, you always want to compare it to a right angle. If it's smaller than a right angle, it's going to be acute. If it's larger than a right angle, it's going to be obtuse. And you can check your work by trying to draw a perfect square in the corner and seeing if it fits because a square will always have 90 degree corners. Lastly, let's look at an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. Now, as you can see, this angle looks a lot larger than your right angle or your acute angle. An obtuse angle can be anywhere from 91 degrees all the way up to 179 degrees. So there's a wide range that an obtuse angle can be. Whenever you're trying to measure whether an angle is obtuse or not, it's always recommended to try to draw a right angle within your obtuse angle. And if you can fit a right angle and the obtuse angle continues on past it, that lets you know that it is greater than 90 degrees. Let's go through a few practice problems together. There are three angles on the screen. I want you to identify which angles are right, acute, and obtuse. Go ahead. Well, our first angle shows a square in the corner. And since it shows a square in the corner, we know that that has to be a right angle and exactly 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and move to this angle right here. Now, if you're not sure if this angle is less than or greater than 90 degrees, you should draw a right angle in the corner and see if this angle is less than that amount. And since this angle is smaller than 90 degrees, that means that this must be an acute angle. Let's look at our last angle. Again, you want to draw a 90 degree angle in the corner just to make sure that you can compare. And since this angle is larger than 90 degrees, we know that this is an obtuse angle. Let's try another practice problem together. Alex is watering his lawn and his sprinkler only reaches a distance of 120 degrees at a time. How many times will he need to move the sprinkler to water a complete circle? Well, let's go ahead and use the protractor on the screen below that shows one full circle of 360 degrees. Now we're first going to draw in the first 120 degrees where the sprinkler is. Now, as you can see, this is an obtuse angle that covers a distance of 120 degrees. But he wants to water a full 360 degree area. So he needs to move his sprinkler to now face the second direction. So now we're going to draw in a second 120 degree area. And this is going to show us how much distance he now covers after moving it two times. But we still have an area over here that hasn't been watered yet. 
So we now need to move the sprinkler a third time. And now we have another 120 degree area that we have sprinkled in. So as you can see, it took three times to move the sprinkler 120 degrees to equal a full circle of 360 degrees. Let's review what you've learned in today's lesson. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. And you can tell if it's an acute angle by drawing a right angle in the corner. And if the angle is less than the right angle, then you know it's an acute angle. A right angle is an angle that's exactly 90 degrees. And you'll know it's a 90 degree angle because it will be displayed with a square in the corner. An obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. And you can check to make sure it's greater than 90 degrees by drawing a 90 degree angle in the corner. And if it's greater than 90 degrees, then you know it's an obtuse angle.